Hey, what's going on, guys? GB back here, and today in this video, we've got something really awesome. We have a Rail King model train. So today, we're going to open this thing up and show you guys. So okay, I'll inside. just uh, angle the camera down a little bit. Here, I'll open up this side so I can I'll push, push this. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's got the original instructions with it. All right. And then here is the beauty. Sorry if I keep looking over here, that's the just the OBS is running. Let's see if you grab a piece out of here. Oh, and it even comes with the oil for it. Nice. Some goodies over there. Alright, so here's the actual parts of the train. So we got the tender. <clears throat> Here's the tender. Um, and there's the engine over there. Stuck. Okay, here we go. So we're not going to be able to run it today. I mean, we don't have enough track, but uh, actually, we do have track. I'll set this up. I'm currently in the process of buying a power controller. Yeah, we need uh, power controllers. We just got the train and two pieces of track right now, so we can like put it on the tracks. And but yeah, we don't have a. Uh... All right. Oh yeah, this the is a little bit busted we'll too. That. You gotta fix this. This is a little bit busted too because you can just lift that right off. You're not supposed to be able to do that. But yeah, this these, one's in good shape though. These so. are both at least 20 years old each. They're solid metal. Yeah, this thing There's is. There's nothing crazy. plastic about this except probably the paint. It's a little past. It's all the paint's acrylic. It's a. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it has roller bearings on the axles. Is it really smooth? And then I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. There, look at that thing. So, what train is this again? So, this is a Pennsylvania train. Railroad K4 streamlined locomotive designed by uh, Raymond Lowy for the Broadway Limited. Interesting. And they were the competitor to the New York Central's Hudson J3A. To the New York Central. Oh, the, hang on, the cord is a little bit hoofed up. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna put the tender on the track now. Tender is is an amazing rider. It's definitely ball bear, uh, ball, uh, ball or roller bearings. Oh wait, no, you want to connect the cord first. Then it yeah. gets it gets impossible yeah. to put the cord on after you put the coupling on. Slide that a little further. At some points. With model trains, it becomes a point where it's not toy uh, toy trains anymore. Yeah, this is These not a toy. This is a... Uh, I got this for several hundred bucks, and it was slightly used. It's in slightly worn condition. It still runs. They test it when I got it. And the uh, how, how much money the actual brand new one worth is in the thousands. This one is... It's a little bit rough back here. There's a, there's a little bit of wear on the tender. That's probably why the price is marked down a bit, but it's really not in that bad of shape. I mean, this this comes off, it which needs, it's not really supposed to, but... Uh, I need to file down some stuff in the inside and get some new screws, but you should probably fix that pretty easily, pretty inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Curvature's still going to be there, but that's just probably going to be at yeah, the uniqueness. It's definitely very streamlined and aerodynamic. It's uh, beautifully put together. It's got the little handrails up here. And when it comes to these, they didn't, like, uh, crimp down the edges or anything to make sure it didn't come out. They just kind of locked it into the side back here. So it's it, it, it does very move. ingenious. Yeah. Very simple. Um, effective. Oh, yeah. It's got working Buckeye couplers on each end. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no Buckeye coupler up here. Uh, it's underneath. In oh. fact, I'm pretty sure they removed them because there wasn't enough room. Yeah, there isn't anything up there. So yeah, there's a so yeah, there's a working Buckeye coupler underneath it. Oh, spam call. Stupid spam callers. Um, I said it's all diecast metal. The only yeah, probably plastic part is the coal. So this wait, do you have a scale or anything that we can put this on? I don't think so. No. Oh darn. Okay, so yeah, this thing I, I'd probably my guess would probably be around between five ten pounds. This thing is it's the heavy. The locomotive itself, the tender. Yeah, the itself. locomotive. Yeah, the the tender isn't very heavy. Because it has a sound unit in it. Yeah, so here, I'll show you how much this thing, 
the tender rolls absolutely beautifully. The uh, even though it's bent, it still rolls extremely well. The engine doesn't because I mean because you need electricity. Yeah, you need the electricity for it. One thing is that this is still. Oh, look, see that? There. Oh, we aim at. Uh, you aim the couplers up. That's an even better ride. You hear that clacking? That's just the connection that's just the between the two rails. rails. That just adds to the sound, though. I love that sound. It rolls really nice. It's smooth, smooth ride. Whoever had this before, definitely they took care of it. But uh, this isn't really supposed to come off. Um, Except if you unscrew it, that is, of yeah. course. And then there's a switch on the bottom. Uh, it has got oh, so you the sound right here. Part. There's actually a lock in it. Oh, it's nice. A, it's like a blish lock right here so that you can open and close it, right? Yeah. And then, right here, if you have it right here, push it, it'll lock it into place. Huh. And if you push up, it re it. So this is like a locking mechanism. So you can couple it, and then it locks itself. Nice. So uh, with this one, the uh, top isn't necessarily supposed to come off like that, that easy at least. The screws on the inside kind of broke a little bit quite a while ago, I bet. But um, My, we're yeah. gonna sand. We're gonna file this part down, like right here. We're gonna file these down on the top and the bottom, so that it they're not cracked. And then they're going to, so that we can actually put new screws in. Interesting. A little locking thing. That yeah, it works. That's pretty cool. The real thing. Yeah. Um, this is the first of what will be the collection. Yeah, this is the very first one. So it's, it's other than the bit of wear on the tender, I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful shape. Um, you can see there's the bottom of the uh, tender. You can see that uh, these have full range of motion, so if I wanted to, I could just go like that, but I don't think you really want to do that. <laughs> um, this uh, has sound to it as well. This kind of doubles as a sound car. Uh, it's got a little speaker there with some built-in sound effects. Um, uh, Alright, let's move on to the engine here. This is, the, this is where all the magic happens. So, uh, if you can see in the bottom, these are the little contact wheels. This is what uh, contacts that little center rail on the track, and that's what gives it electricity. All wheels actually have pickups on them. Oh. Uh, all rails. The ones that I've seen only yeah. have the center, yeah. but that's pretty cool. Um, Maximum pull power. So yeah, these no, are the... You don't know if it's a... Two Two pole or a four pole motor inside yet. We're gonna take that off. The Ashley, yeah. do you have a screwdriver? We can do that in the yeah. video. Uh, we'll, we'll most likely maybe cut to when we take the bottom piece off. I can't really do that yet on this computer. So I don't have can't. the program yet. All right. Um. But yeah. So I'll here, you, yeah, here you do that. I'll keep them occupied. Um. So you can see all of this is like not functional, but it not like. Not functional in the sense of the word. It's not an actual steam engine, I wish, but... Um, yeah, actually, the real one is a steam engine. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, in this case. But all of this, all the gearing and stuff crap. works and moves. It's, it refines it's, the beauty of steam locomotives. This slides nice and swift, nice and easy, moves nice and, nice and well. It's absolutely in... I can't get over how good a shape this is in. It's for 20 years old. I mean, it's in... Plus 20. Yeah, 20 plus. Alright, so let's check out. Here's the inside here. Um, here we are. Uh, you can see there's a, quite a bit of detail in there. Um, you can see just they just kind of carved out or like cast into the actual metal, uh, the interior shape and style. Um, you can, however, buy locomotives that are about this size that are actually run on steam. I mean, they're a bit bigger, of course, because, I mean, for obvious reasons, but... Yeah, they're uh, way more expensive than than this. Um, blow up. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, they can blow up. This one can't. It's electric. Uh, but it does uh, actually put out smoke, which is really cool. This is my grandpa's toolbox. Oh, wow. So, got a toolbox and some screwdrivers. There's some more in here. All right, let's uh, set set that puppy up there. Oh, Hold this on. one. Yeah. That, right? Oh, yeah. Here, let's see if this one works on here. 
All right, we're probably going to want to start with taking the... Um, Is that more bigger? Okay. Yeah, this will work for some of the bigger stuff. Okay, be careful, though. Yes, I will. Yeah, this I need to use this one. We're going to make sure we keep every single screw. We don't want to mix up screws. Yeah, I'm going to take off the truck, uh, the, or not the... Trailing. The, yeah, uh, the trailing. The so. trailing bogey. I keep wanting to call them trucks because on skateboards, but... I don't even skateboard, so I don't know where the heck that's coming from. Oh, I should have brought those little pliers I have. I have pliers for taking off these little tiny clips, but... Where? Let's see. I should be able to get it. Yes? Careful, don't let it snap off and fly. Because that thing, if you... We got pliers. Here. No, I have special pliers for taking these off, but... Here, I can get it off with my... Fingers. It's is it hard to get back on? Good question. Um, I mean, if you you can use pliers to get them back on, that makes it much easier. You know, I gotta use a little flathead screwdriver for this. Actually, this will work. Don't lose it. Got it. Swing away. Nope. Right here. Good. Set that right there with the mechanism. I'll set the washer with it. Needle nose right here. And here out. is the trailing bogey. Yeah. All right. Make sure you don't bend this as well. Careful, because it's really thin. Yeah, that's a pickup. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to bend that. It's copper, so, so it bends very... really easily. What was that? It's really heavy. I, I want to say over twenty ounces. Spring. Right, I'll take off this mechanism. I'll just keep it in order, though. Don't want to lose it, though. Okay. We're not going to take off the front bogey right now. Yeah, screw that. Oh yeah, there's a switch up here too. Here, I'll do this. I'll do what I did before with this. Yes, and here. Use the use. Let me see this. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Good. That does not want to come off. It'll come off. Oh, there's a switch on here. Let's do that. See that? It's for this. That. Perfect. All right. And then there's the little. And then we arm. should be able to take the rear part off. And then look at that. That's just free sliding in there. Make sure you don't let that fall through too, because I kind of need that. Oh, that one's working. Normally, those little thin screwdrivers like that don't work well. The bigger the handle, it's the more torque. If you, you look at it. It's the same size as the actual screw. No, I mean the the no, I mean the thin handle. Yeah. The bigger the handle, the more torque you have. So let's see. Is there any screws back here? It's blind. Oh, I think we might have to take the front one off. Yeah. That won't be too much of a hassle though. Let's see. Two, one. Careful. This is for the leading bogey. So oh, we're gonna crap. put those over here. Got another one of those little uh, clasps in there. Oh, you forgot this. Oh, don't grab that for me. Yeah. These are all for the front bogeys. So now oh, it's front bogey. You you put there. This is all for the rear one. Correct? Yeah. So then this is uh, all the. No, those are all the driving wheels. So we should be able to take this off now. No, you have to take these off first. Yeah. Well, yeah. We need to take this from the front still. Now, but you've never done anything like this. I've taken a lot of things apart, but never a model train. No. Check and this out. There she um, is. I'll set this aside so you can. Beautiful. I think it's got a flywheel on it. It's the motor. Yeah, there's a flywheel right there. Oh, don't take that off. I hope is this thing geared? Maybe. Oh wait, it moved when you did that. <gasps> look, look, it moves. That's smooth, dude. That nice. Look. The motor will spin like this. Do you know how you know that's a good model? Based on its crawl. And if it spins like that, then oh my god, it's got it'll crawl. Like you know the mechanism's good if it can crawl like this. Yeah. The motor can spin. <sighs> Look at that here, let me get Here, I'm gonna like pick Don't, this up. Don't I you're not allowed it's such an oh, look at the valve gear. Look at that. Watch it spin. Nice. Here, don't I show the camera it? All right, so this is what we're doing. So we're just kind of spinning this flywheel, and then it's uh, it's moving the wheels because it's geared. Yeah, it's connected to the motor. So here, I'll do this. So, so oh, it'll be this I love it. Where it's at? Yeah, I, oh, I remember this. Yeah, it's moving. It's gonna be a very smooth ride. Oh yeah, the uh, valve gear is moving and everything. And a drill. <laughs> no, I was just about to say no screwdriver. 
Because if you got a drill, we can just spin this thing real fast. That, that, that's not good for the thing. Yeah, I don't recommend doing that. Cylinders right here. This is all metal. Yeah, this is all cast uh, steel, I think. So you're doing that. Look at that. beautiful. All right, yeah, let's back on so that we Oh, look. Wait, hang on. Check this out. A little motor up there. Was that for a generator or something? A light. No, it's just the it's light. It's the headlamp. Yeah. So oh, the headlamp works. That's actually really awesome. All right, let's bring this thing back over. Uh, we're gonna start putting this thing back together. In terms of inside, this thing is beautiful. It's there's no wear whatsoever. Yeah, there's no not the even only pieces any are sticking the out. Is the wires for these? Yeah, that's the only little sharp bits. But there's no flaking paint in there or anything. No chips. No scratches. Nothing. Usually these have a stamps. Let's see which year it was made. I think the stamps on actually on the tender, which was in bad condition. It's a solid brass flywheel. That's pretty cool. That's overkill, kind of. So don't. All right, here. Let's just uh, let's, let's start put putting like them back so together. Line it up. Actually, or yeah, yeah. Let's start. Right. There's structural parts for that. Hence the reason why uh, we, we should need to bring this over here. here first, so we can set it in. Yeah. All right. Uh, gotta make sure. It's we like surgery. Up. Yeah, you gotta be very gentle. We're lined up. Oh my up, god, it locks in perfectly. Yeah, it's just it's a just nice perfect fit. So wait, do you uh, switch you back around. You got all the front pieces. Do you remember up there. where this one went? You said it. It went right back there. Oh shoot! Come on, put that back in. I'll lift the front up. Wait, which side did it go in? Went right here. Okay, you hold that. Actually, you can probably put it in like that. And then here, just set it down like that. Well, that's that. sharp metal right there. Oh, and the port is perfectly lined up. you got to make sure of that, too. Yeah, that'll screw you right over. So, do you want to do the leading bogey first? Here, we can both work. So then, that. So then this goes on here. Wait. Did this clamp go on first or after? What? Uh, no, that went on uh, after, because yeah. that was right below yeah, yeah, the yeah. screw that held it together. So first, I will do the big screws. Actually, do you know what you should be doing first? Putting the big screws that attach it to the thing. Oh, yeah, I just put that little clasp on there so it doesn't fall apart. This thing is well older than we are. Oh, yeah. But probably over two, maybe two decades. Did you see a stamp on the inside? No, I think it was on the tender. And don't over tighten things. It would oh be yeah. Gentle with these. You don't want it to be too loose, too. You want it to be you want it to be snug but not tight. Lead bogey goes on. That is such there. Yeah. I got the uh, rear bogey almost done. So where did this screw went right here, correct? It went on like that. Yeah, there was this screw right there. All right. I am such an idiot. Why? Carson? <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> I'm losing it. It's like 9, it's like a little after 9 a.m. and I'm losing it. But I was up to like midnight yesterday. So, cut me some slack. Slack in the do. Don't break it. I'm not breaking it. I'll lose it if you do. Okay, that fits in. Get it off? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put the front bogey on actually after you do that. Okay, is it on? Okay, so that goes there. This, I know, went there. So, I'm going to put those on. The washer, and then... It's pretty genius how they did stuff back in the day. 
made stuff to last. Yeah, this thing is in... Oh, did you lose it? Okay, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Okay, good. Because it's black. Like the color of the whole chassis of the, of the locomotive. Which is very hard to see. I'll just compress down the spring a little bit that's underneath it, and that'll hopefully... Join them in the rebuilding process. Note to self, don't lose stuff. That's a good note. Is it on? Fall off again. I think it fell in. If it fell in, I'm gonna lose it. Did it fall in? Here, let's just turn it upside down. Let's see. Oh, let's see, we got it. It was just on the side. Here, let me do this. Here. All right, city hands. Alright. I'll do what I did before, but I'll try and. Uh, how about I hold it and you focus on that? Yeah, here hear you. I compressed down the spring a bit, so I can. You don't want me to do it? I can probably get it. Here, you got it. I use these needle nose, and then as soon as I got it kind of in place, I can use the needle nose to pop it on. Don't bend it. These things are insanely difficult to bend. Oh, it's going on. Did it fall off? Nope. Is it on? Almost. There you go. All right. And it's on. Okay, perfect. Now we can do the... Put that screw in. That. All the wheels are sprung except the main motor. It's a nice little feature. Here, can you hold this like this for a second? Because I'm trying to line this one up. See how, see how irritating that is? Yeah. It's got that little plan. That's in. So, then. so wait, where does this go? Forgot. Uh, that went back here. That goes on top of there. Where? On top of here. Oh, like right that? Nope. The way. This way? Yeah, put the screw through it first, though. Okay. That's the oh, big screw. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, that makes sense now. Keep forgetting where this is. Is it the right screw? Yep, it's the right screw. Actually, wait. No, it's not. I got. Nope, they're the same screw. I safe to say that this thing doesn't need to be greased. Right now, that is. Yeah, after you well, said it'll be. Oh, hey, Murphy. It's like, what's going on here? I smell battery acid. Yeah, I have battery acid. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, Murphy. So now, let's move this back. The dog. Murphy, looks. say hi to the camera. <laughs> say hi to the camera, Murphy. Oh, he's camera shy. Oh, bye bye. So, let's put this thing back on the rails. Sure. That's some sort of life achievement, right? Yeah, that's the uh, first model train I've taken apart. Well, just to let you know, that won't be your last. Yeah. Because there's a lot of model trains that you can buy that are broken that you can get for almost nothing. Like 50 bucks, maybe. At least. Or at most, I should say. You need 10 bucks. The hard part is the motors. So most likely the next time that they will be the camera will be seeing it is when we're running it around. Yeah. That'll be the next time that you guys see it. It will be on the tracks and running. It is quite a beautiful machine. One thing that most that most designers do, I don't know. 
if the camera can see this. Actually, let's have this. On the front, you have this sticker. Let's reposition that so they can see it. You have the sticker. And usually, there's stickers, but this is actually a, a big chunk of metal that's actually screwed in from there, if I'm correct. On the back, it does not peel like a sticker. It scratches my nail. Whenever yeah, that there is. A, that's just a big solid piece of metal. So therefore, like this just proves time and time again that uh, older things can make a comeback to newer to newer model trains because they are made with metal instead of plastic. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, they don't make stuff like they used to. For example, at my old house. My dad had to buy, we had, we had to buy this dehumidifier for the basement, and um, we bought a brand new one, one of the, one of the, just one of the really good ones out there, the, probably one of the top brands out there, and uh, we bought it, and it worked fine, but then a year later, it broke, so we had to buy a new one, and uh, we bought a different brand this time, and uh, guess what, it lasted one more year until it broke, whereas at my, new, at my dad's new house, the uh, previous owners left a dehumidifier from like the 70s, and the thing still runs perfectly. It definitely don't make stuff like they used to. And uh, this is another good example of that. Because nowadays you see all these model trains, they're all plastic and cheap and lightweight. They're Some just... of them are nice, like they have metal base plates of metal, yeah. but they're not like this. Yeah, not like this. Not Lionel, anymore. which started in the early 1900s, they really got their crap together. They made some really good, like nothing's changed. They still make locomotives, but usually they're diesel locomotives, and they're yeah. If not, they sometimes make a big boy once in a while, but it's an extremely rare situation that they make anymore. This thing is uh, so yeah. We'll uh, start packaging this thing up. Get these ribbons. Yeah, this thing is absolutely wonderful. I mean, yeah. It's beautiful. So yeah. we might make a little wind tunnel. That's um like a fog machine, small one, and uh put it in like a fan. Yeah, That'd be pretty cool. Probably see how. It... Right, so let's show the repackaging process too. In case somebody has one of these, they want to know a good way to repackage it. So if you got one, it should have came with like these little foam sheets. The the guy that had them, that gave them to us, that he gave us these little ribbons. So that you can easily take it in and out. Really helpful things. You're actually supposed to fold it like this before. Yeah. So let's tuck this down there. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling like, tacos. Really expensive tacos. Five hundred dollar tacos. These are now. These are night. These are not El Seno tacos. These are American. It's very extremely expensive. Murphy, stop running around. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's it's backwards. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's I don't like, know what I'm doing here. I'm correct. Let me just feel where the couplers at. Goes like that. Oops, it's got a little port where the couplers are at. There, it's nice and perfect. You're a little snug coming out, but a little bit of foam ain't gonna hurt one of these. A little bit of metal sticking up right there, but the foam is protected. 
And this stuff goes in this stuff, uh, tracks and instructions that goes in later. So do you want to show these off before? Yeah. Highly right? Wait, hang on. Is this I right highly right? suggest you guys go to any like any real thing whatsoever. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's the right way. Alright, yeah, we're good. Just uh, slide that next to the box here, and we'll look at the instructions, because the instructions go in the box. Uh, one of them aren't really, isn't really a instruction, it just tells you what it's about. Yeah, this is just like random paperwork. That's correct. Here's where the good stuff is at. This is this is an ordering uh, manifold, basically. So that means you can order via this. Oh, if you send this, you can order a locomotive. Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's your Rail King. So, yeah, so there's quick start, basic operation. Oh, look, uh, see, that's the oil. Operation. That oil you put in it, and if we put electricity in, smooth. Yeah. It's got a smoke unit on it. Whistle operation, oh, bell operation. Wow, oh, this is detailed. Oh, see, that's the one I wanted to buy. But the issue with these is that they're over 1100 bucks a piece. If you, like, use, I found one for 800 bucks. Yeah, everything you would need to know about the strings in this book. Everything. In the front, if I'm correct. Tells you a little bit about the locomotive. Yeah, a little bit about the history on it and stuff. Yep. Nice. So, yep. Yeah, that is the uh, Pennsylvania Torpedo diecast steam engine. The Pennsylvania K4 Torpedo. Alright, here, let's put this stuff back in its little sleeve. You can actually wire it to here. Okay, dude, you know what you should do? What? You should just, like, cut that part out and frame it. Enter a new age in model railroading. Put oh, it by yeah. railroad. That'd be really cool. I might actually take my dad's scanner, scan it like that, oh, yeah, and I'll just reprint it. Alright, so that is the Pennsylvania Railroad K4. And it is... Quite a good train. I rate this good because this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's a 462. The next one I'm planning on getting, or the, the next vehicles I'm planning on getting, is most likely to be Broadway Limited to go with this. And after that, the New York Central 20th Century Limited. That, you'll never believe how much they're, it costs. Uh, yeah. The locomotive itself was 800 bucks used. Alright, but uh, if you guys want to see more railroad videos, stay tuned because uh, those are going to be coming up. But yeah. until then, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. See ya!